In this video, we will learn how to calculate national income by expenditure method. In this method, we have to calculate all the spending in an economy, including the spending of the households, that is the consum consumer consumption, then the investment made by the firms, then the spending of government and the net exports. Okay, one by one we will see how and what are we going to include under all the sectors. What is the expenditure of the households in an economy? Three kinds of expenditure can be there. One can be on durable goods. Durable goods like car, house, fan. Then you have non-durable goods. Non-durable goods. Non-durable goods can be your um, eatables eatables, milk, fruits, vegetables, okay? And then one more spending of households is the services that the households consume. That is the education or medical services, okay? This together is called private final consumption expenditure. Private final consumption expenditure. Second thing that we need to include is government, government's expenditure. Let us see what is the expenditure of government. Government spends money on many areas in the economy. See, it can spend money on military, military or defense services or uh, law and order law and order it spends money to provide us education health facilities and the other infrastructural facilities okay then this is together called government final consumption expenditure This can be business fixed investment. Business fixed investment. That is investment in building, building or machinery or equipment, equipments that are required. Then Second kind of investment is residential investment. If some houses are constructed or some buildings are constructed, residential investment. Okay. And the third will be change in stock. Change in stock. The stock that the firms hold are also an investment. We have to subtract exports from imports now why we need to include exports here see gdp gdp is nothing but gdp mp is nothing but the market value of all the goods and services produced in an economy most of the goods and services which are produced in the economy suppose are consumed by the firms government and households but some goods and services which we are producing they are consumed by rest of the world also if we talk about Indian economy. Okay, if we take the example of Indian economy, then some goods which are produced here are also exported and used by people in rest of the world. So the value of those goods also which are exported has to be included in our expenditure. So this is expenditure of rest of the world on on goods and services produced produced by domestic firms 
and this is expenditure of our firms on goods and services of rest of the world. So GDP MP is private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic investment. This investment is also called gross domestic investment plus net exports. Okay. GDP can be represented by the letter Y. Y PFCE private final consumption expenditure is C. This is G government final consumption expenditure this is investment this is net exports and NNP will be GDP minus depreciation minus net indirect taxes and plus net factor income from abroad now we will solve a numerical example for the expenditure method calculate net national product at factor cost from the following that means calculate NNP at FC that is national income national income from this data by expenditure method okay what all is given to us we are given government final consumption expenditure net indirect tax private final consumption expenditure consumption of fixed capital gross domestic fixed capital formation net imports closing stock opening stock and net factor income to abroad we have to calculate GDP MP okay GDP MP is private final consumption expenditure plus government final consumption expenditure plus gross domestic capital formation plus net exports private final consumption expenditure given to us 300 government final consumption expenditure is 100 now we are given gross domestic fixed capital formation okay that means this is the investment only in fixed capital okay when we are given fixed capital gross domestic fixed capital formation then we also have to add the change in stock into it so we are going to add this gross domestic fixed capital formation is 50 plus we also have to add change in stock and net exports plus net exports we are only given net imports okay so this will be minus 10 calculate this we will get 440 lakhs so our GDP is 440 lakhs so our national income will be GDP MP minus depreciation Then DP to NP add net factor income from abroad and then market price to factor cost subtract net indirect taxes. GDP we have calculated 440 lakhs minus depreciation. Depreciation is consumption of fixed capital that is 20. So minus 20 net factor income from abroad we are given net factor income to abroad so we are going to subtract this we are going to subtract net factor income to abroad okay whenever it is net factor income from abroad you have to add it if in the question you are given net factor income to abroad remember you have to subtract it that means this is the income you are paying to abroad this is not what you are receiving this is you this is what you are paying and minus net indirect tax. Net indirect tax is given to us 80. Minus, minus 80. So, so will be rupees 330 lakhs.